sir starting ah. <laughs> so this is to find to find a program sir write a program to find gcd of two numbers right so what is gcd gcd is what gcd is greatest to common divisor right greatest common divisor so behind this what is the lo logic okay sometimes we call it as hcf also is to common factors right so the logic behind gcd is for example i will be 10 i 20 right these are the two numbers so what we need to find is we have to find what are the factors of 10 so how to find the factors of 10 you know it right number percentile 2 equal to equal to 0 or sorry i equal to equal to 0 that you will become you will get the factors so what are the factors of 10 1 5 10 right and what are the factors of 20 yeah, also 2, 1, 2, 5, 10. And what are the factors of 20? 1, 2, 4, 4, 5, 10, 10, 10, 10, 20. So these are the factors of 20, right? So in this, two, in this like for in 10 and 20, what are the common factors we have to find? So what are the common factors in between 10 and 20 are? 1, 2, 5, and 10 okay our question is what greatest common divisor that is in these factors what is the greatest number which is common to the both numbers what is the common to both numbers 10 so 10 is the gcd for for 10 and 20 for 10 and 20 understood the concept so the concept is what like we have to find the gcd for gc finding gcd of two numbers 10 and 20 first we need to find the factors of 10 and also the factors of 20 okay see what i'm saying factors of 10 and also factors of 20 mean that means we need two at a time using what and operator that is what logical and right so for example to just for 10 what you write what is the code for uh, uh, finding the factors of a 10, what we'll write? We use a for loop saying that for i is equal to 1, i less than or equal to num, right or not? i plus less, if num percentile i equal to equal to 0, then we say that what? We say i is, then what we say? i is, i is factor, right or not? This is the, this is what, this is for the finding the factors of a number, which we are in a for right? So as it starts from 1 to 10, so we have to write this. Now, coming to our greatest common divisor, how many numbers you have? How many numbers you have? Two numbers you have, right? So I will take two numbers as what? Num1 and num so when I'm writing for one number, I'll write for loop like this. Like i is equal to 1, i is not equal to num, i plus plus. But when I'm saying I have two numbers, then how many conditions I'll have now? Two conditions. Saying that i is less than or equal to number i i is less than or equal to num 2. Right? Are you following or not? When I say only for one number, factors, we write i less not equal to number, but we are finding the factors of two numbers at a time, at a time. So that's why we write i less not equal to number and i less not equal to number two and i plus plus. Now coming to the if condition, here also, are you finding only for one number factors or two numbers factors? Mm -hmm. Two numbers factors. So you write here like this, number one percentile i equal to equal to zero and num two percentile i equal to equal to 0. Okay? As it is one expression, you write them in parentheses. Are you following or not? Are you getting my point? See, when I am seeing like only one number to find the factors, we write number percentile i equal to equal to 0. But here, how many numbers you have to find the factors? For two numbers. So that's why you are writing num1 percentile i equal to equal to 0 and num2 percentile i equal to equal to 0. And why did you write and operator? What your logical and will tell you? A logical and will tell you that if this is true and this is true, then you enter into the loop, uh, enter into the statements. Right? 
So if both are true, then what is your GCD? GCD is equal to I. When both are true, then your GCD becomes what? I. Clear? Now you will take another extra value called as GCD. Very good. Are you following or not? So what are we doing here is, we are writing a code to find the greatest common divisor. So whenever we are writing the uh, code for the greatest common divisor, we need to write, a, we need to talk about two numbers, number and num2. We know how to find the factors of one, GC, one number. Here, instead of finding one number, we are finding two numbers at a time. At a time. So for that reason, we write condition as i less than or equal to number and i less than or equal to number. Means we are finding two, both of them at a time. Right? So next, if it is true, we have to go into the loop and execute this condition. Like whether these are, means the remainder is becoming zero or not. If the remainder is becoming zero for two numbers, then you say that GCD is equal to i. Okay? So your i value will enter into the GCD. Now if is condition, if is closed, now for is closed. After for is if end, it has reached the end of for loop, what it does? Again it goes back to the i plus plus. Now i plus plus becomes means it increments by 1. Again it checks what? Checks the condition. If these two conditions are means if this is true and this is true, again enters into the loop. Right? And after ending into the loop, again it checks the condition and the condition is true. Again it says your i means your common divisor becomes GCD. Right? Again close and this goes on till you find the greatest common factor. And that becomes your HCF or GCF. Got it? Stop. I less than or equal to number logical and I less than or equal to num2 semicolon I less less open brace if number percentile I is equal to equal to 0 and num2 percentile I equal to equal to 0 then what you have read GCP is equal to I <coughs> Got it? This is the code which we have written there, right? Shall I do tracing now? Tracing is better for you, right? So we will do now tracing. Start. It started. Start. Right. So now tracing. So in tracing, for example, I am taking number as 10. I num 2 as what? 20. Num to as 20. Now, what are the conditions we have in tracing? I have i, i is 1, and we have what? i less than or equal to num 1, i, i less, less than, than or, or equal, equal to, to num 2. These are conditions. Okay, these are the conditions. And next is what? We have num percentile i, number percentile i equal to equal to 0, i, num 2. Percentile i equal to equal to zero. Okay, so this is these are all our conditions. Okay, and if it is true, we have to print what? If it is true, what we have to print? We have to print gc. Right now, we'll start now. Okay, so I write i also here. I i is first what? I is equal to one. Now, coming to this, i less than or equal to number. What is number we have taken? 10. So, this is what? 1 less than or equal to 10. And, and what is i less than or equal to number 2? 1 less than or equal to 20. Tell me what is this? i less than or equal to 10. True or false? True. This is true. And i 1, uh, 1 is less than or equal to 20. Is it false or true? true? True. So, if both conditions are true in logical and, then whole condition is what? True. Right or not? Truth table of logical and both conditions are true, then the output is also true. So now this whole thing will become what will become what? True. So whenever the condition is true, you have to enter into the loop. So in a loop, what is your first statement? If condition. Now come into the if condition. Num 1. What is that number? 10. 10 percentile i. What is i? 1. 10 percentile 1 equal to equal to 0 and 20 percentile 1 equal to equal to 0. 
right? So what are we finding here? We are finding the remainder, right? So 10, 1, 1 10 is 10, 0. <coughs> so you got what? 0 here. So 0 equal to equal to 0 and the same way 0 equal to equal to 0. This is true and this is true. Again this is what? Logical and. So this all becomes what? Again true. Whenever it is true, what you are doing? You are entering into the if condition statement. So what is there in the if condition statement? GCD is equal to I. That means right hand side has to be given to the left hand side. Now what is I now? I is 1. So GCD also becomes what? Is it also one? So if it is closed and it, is, it has reached end of per loop, I now it has to increase. So now I becomes what? Two. two. So as I became two, again it has to check what? It has to check the condition. So condition is what? Two less than or equal to ten, logical and two less than or equal to twenty. Which is true, true, and both are true. Then it is true. It enters into the loop. And in this we have condition as what? 10 percentile i. i is what? 2. Two. 10 percentile i is equal to equal to 0. And 20 percentile 2 equal to equal to 0. This is what? You are, you are doing like this now. 20, 2, 2 tens are 20, remainder is 0. And the same way, 2, 5 is 10, remainder is 0. Then this is true, this is true. Whole condition is true. As the condition is true, we are entering into the if condition statement. In that, what you have written? GCD is equal to I. Now, GCD is before GCD was 1. Now, GCD is what? I. What is I here? 2. So, your GCD also becomes what? 2. Right? And next, if closed, again end of for loop, again has to go into the top. I plus plus. Now, I becomes what? 3. I becomes 3. Now, comes here. 3 less than or equal to 10 and 3 less than or equal to 20, which is true. Right? And as it is true, it enters into the again if condition. And in if conditions, now what you write? 3, sorry, 10 percentile 3 equal to equal to 0 and 10 percentile 3, sorry, 20 percentile 3 equal to equal to 0. Right? So 10 percentile 3 means? 3, 3 is a 9, remainder 1, and 20, 3, 6 is 18, remainder is 2. This is false, and this is false. If both conditions are false, then the output is also false in logical and. Does it enter into the loop? No, it will not enter. So, if it is closed, and it enters the reach, and reaches the end of our loop, and again goes back to the i plus plus. Right? So, now i becomes what? 4. So, 4 less than or equal to 10, again you check the condition, 4 less than or equal to 20 which is true, as it is true it has to enter into the loop and in the loop first statement is what, num percentile i equal to equal to 0, so that becomes what, 10 percentile 4 equal to equal to 0 and 20 percentile 4 equal to equal to 0. So what is 10 percentile 4? This is 2 reminder and what is 20 percentile 4? It is 0, zero right? Understood? So, this is false and this is true. In a truth table of logical and both conditions have to be true. Okay? So, this overall thing will return what? False. False. As it is false, as, will it enter into the loop? No, it won't enter into the if, if statement. Again, it ends the if, ends for, goes back to i plus plus. Now, your i becomes what? 5. So, now it is what? 5 is now equal to 10. And 5 less than or equal to 20, which is true, it has to enter into the for loop. And in the for loop, what you write now? 10 percentile 5 equal to equal to 0, and 20 percentile 5 equal to equal to 0. What is 10 percentile 5? 0. So it is true. What is 20 percentile 5? 0. It is also true. Both conditions are true. Then the output is also true. As it is true, it has to enter into the if condition statement. So what is there in, GC, uh, in, in that? GCD is equal to I. So what is I? 5. Now GCD becomes what? 5. And like this, it goes on. Now yeah, it becomes 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Suppose it is now 10. So what is that? 10 less than or equal to 10, which is true. And 10 less than or equal to 20, which is also true. 
right? As both conditions are true, it has to enter into the if statement. Now in if, what you have? 10 percentile 10 equal to equal to 0 and 20 percentile 10 equal to equal to 0. This is true. This is also true. So overall condition is again true. It enters into the if condition statement. Here you have what? GCD is equal to I. Now what is I? I is 10 and GCD is what? 10. And now it goes back to the I plus plus. Your I becomes what now? 11. So 11 less than or equal to 10 and 10, 11 less than or equal to 20. Which is false and which is true. Right? False and true gives you what? False. So does it enter into the for loop? No. So it terminates your for loop and comes out of the for loop. Now tell me what is your answer now? Answer is your GCD. So you should print or not? So print a percentile D, comma GCD. So this becomes your GCD. Now tell me what is it? What is the HCF of 10 and 20? Is it 10 or not? And your answer is also 10 or not? Yes. That's it. Thank you.